Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. I'm going to talk about Cardano again. And uh, this one is cryptocurrency in focus. Cardano puts its money on scientific philosophy. So I, I want you guys to really listen to this and then like decide yay or nay. Just put yay or nay in the comments. I read this article. This article doesn't actually say much about the scientific philosophy. It just kind of describes what Cardano is. We all know what Cardano is. We all know what Shelly is. I mean, we've explained it about five gazillion times already, both on the live stream and um, just on these videos. So yay or nay on scientific philosophy. Now, I generally, as a fact, like scientific philosophy, but mainly for science. I'm not sure if I really like it for business. If Cardano was just an academic project, if it didn't have a pub publicly investable coin that, that was actively trading on the market, this would be pretty cool because scientific philosophies, um, a lot of times they come out with results that may or may not lead anywhere. Like I know a lot of uh, scientists that, or like postdocs that write a lot of graduate papers that no one ever really reads or uses. Like most dissertate, most PhD dissertations, they're very nicely written, but after they're written and filed, no one really reads them and no one really uses them. Every once in a while, one of those dissertations will actually be used, but most of them just kind of get lost into the, you know, the annuals of time. They're not really used. Now that actually cannot happen for Cardano because a lot of us have invested in Cardano. I'm really only invested until the next pump, but a lot of people have invested much more than I have and they've gone a good part of their way in on Cardano itself. So them putting their money on scientific philosophy is one method, but it's also a very, very slow method. The academic method depends purely on peer review and then revision upon revision upon revision. And it could take many, many years before they actually come out with something. And you can see that unraveling in Cardano because they've delayed the project, uh, the, the, the progress of the um, platform for three years. Remember, in the original interview, Charles actually said Shelley was 2017, Gogon 2018, and then by 2020 or 2019, 2020, we should be getting to Basho or Voltaire. Obviously, we don't even have Shelley yet. So the, the whole scientific progress does delay things, not just by a few weeks or a few months, but by several years. And now people are um, wondering if Shelley will actually come out before Charles, actually, Shelley and Gogwan will actually come out before IOHK's contract is up at the end of 2020. And the scientific philosophy type thing doesn't put a lot of confidence uh, for people who actually want the platform to come out faster. Now, there is a difference between, oh, I want the platform and I want the platform now, and oh, I will give you three more years, and in that three years, you promise me that it will come out. There's a big difference, because if the original project timeline was two to three years, and you give them double or triple the time, they should actually be able to come out with something, which is why I'm putting a deadline of Shelly and Go on Shelly and Gogwan by end of the year 2020. That is like the final deadline because we've already pushed it back three or four times and I'm not really wishing to push it, want, willing to pull it back anymore. Yes, the scientific philosophy, the academic method um, necessitates that everything be perfect, but that a lot of times runs into business reality. And the thing is, since you have an investable asset that people have actually poured money into, you have to deal with um, you actually have to deal with business reality now. It can't just be your pet project anymore. It has to deal with reality. And in reality, when you're several years late, people get nervous and people have a right to get nervous. Even when someone is writing a PhD dissertation, the university kicks them out after after like seven years if they don't finish it. The, a university will not keep generally keep a PhD candidate on for you know two or three decades. You get about six to seven years if you try to drag it out longer than that, then you have problems with a university. It's just like my undergrad degree, right? If I can't finish in four years, I get an extension of five years. If I can't finish in five, I may be able to get an extension for six years. But if I can't finish in six years, university is like, you're gone, have a good day. You can't stay in college forever. You can't stay in a PhD program forever. Although sometimes it does seem like you can stay in forever. In reality, most PhD people cannot stay in academia forever. And in the business world, if you have an 
in, if you have an investable asset, you definitely cannot delay forever. Now, we've, we in the Cardano, we who have been invested in Cardano have put up with delay after delay after delay. And we've seen Ethereum gather, gather more and more and more enterprise customers. Now, I think Ethereum's proof of stake will take about two years to actually come out. And if Cardano can actually beat Ethereum to the punch, which I still think Cardano has a pretty good chance of beating Ethereum to the punch, I do think that Cardano will have a good future. But when you're talking about scientific philosophy, to me, when I read that, I'm like, man, that just means more delays. And that means it's going to be really, really slow uh, because it has to be peer reviewed several times. I mean, I don't mind the peer reviewing, but I mean, you need to have, you need to actually hire professors specifically to peer review your work. Uh, to make it actually faster once you give an, 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 once you give an investable asset to the public. If you want to keep it your pet project and just keep it within your group of friends or supporters, that's perfectly fine. No one's going to bother you to actually hit some de deadlines. But once you have like, you know, a billion dollar coin out in the public, yes, people have, you know, people do kind of have a right to actually ask questions when you are actually late. So this whole scientific philosophy thing, while I support it for science, I'm not really sure sure if I support it if you're doing the scientific method for a business because generally you do the scientific research first you get done with the scientific research and then when you actually get done with the scientific research and you spring on an idea for a product that's when you put the investable asset out onto the market not while you're doing like the three years of research especially not for cryptocurrency because people don't have a lot of patience in cryptocurrency you know the r d can take a long time but when you actually have dead when you actually put like timelines for yourself you should actually try to hit those timelines in your r d deadline and that really should be your first priority so the scientific philosophy while i think it is a foolproof method i think it does run into business reality and it doesn't work that well with business reality at all but you know i'm willing to give it a pass I'm definitely willing to give it a pass if you can get Shelly and Gongguan out by next year. So that's my thoughts on the scientific philosophy. I don't exactly favor it in the business reality world. So let me guys, let me know what you guys think. Scientific philosophy, academic method, yay or nay for a cryptocurrency project. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments. Thank you and have a nice day.